Hello everybody, we're back, and we're ready to start the fourth game in the Wily Wars. Shows up after completing all three of the regular games. So let's start Wily Tower. You know, come to think of it, I think this game was made around the same time as the Ruby Spears animated series, so... These taunts seem like they come right out of that. But okay, we got... Three new robot masters called the Genesis Unit or Mega World Core in Japan. They're based on characters from the from the old folktale Journey to the West, which is rather rather unheard of around here, but is pretty popular in Asia. You see you you see a lot of references to it. Um it doesn't really matter what order we go in, since you actually don't get any weapons from them. So, let's just go ahead and start with Buster Rod G here. Now, this is nice. You get to equip... You get to select any weapon from Mega Man 1 through 3, up to 8 of them. Let's go ahead and see what we want. Um, take you, take you. And we can take up to three utility items. Which, in my case, I always take the Magnet Beam, Rush Coil, and Rush Jet. You really don't need anything else. Okay, so now we can actually get started with the level. As you can see, these are gonna... Sort of a, uh... Sort of a final exam game, you can think of it, because it's going to have elements from all, all three games. This is taking a lot from, from Snake Man's level, though. It's probably worth pointing out that uh, Buster Rod G is based on the character Song Wukong, the Monkey King, from Journey to the West. He's also known as Son Goku, which, you probably guessed by the name, was the basis for, for the very well-known Dragon Ball character. Jump tearing through those pippies. Wow. 
the rabbits not so much. Oh wow, Firestorm just tears him up. quite a few weaknesses. At least, a good number of weapons will work on him. I really like this boss music, by the way. There you go. Oh, and then he runs away like a little wimp. Okay, one down, two to go. Go with Mega Water S next. here. looks a lot like Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1, which, that shout-out makes, makes quite a bit of sense, given we're on a Genesis system here.
watch my jump there. how Firestorm works underwater. I'll take it. <laughs> Would've thought Thunder Beam would work a little wet, a little better on the frog. He's got that. He's got that water shield and a water cannon that that just pushes you back. Considering he stays up there, he's he's super easy. There we go. This one doesn't get a chance to run. Now we got his Hyper Storm H. Boy, he's big.
I like horse around some of the weapons that you normally don't get to use on on certain enemies, like using using Mega Man 1 enemies on Mega Man 3, or Mega Man 1 weapons on Mega Man 3 enemies, and so on. Sometimes they're not always that effective, though. a handful of weapons. I, I like to bring in all the stages, Firestorm being one of them. It just works so well. Two health bars. Ah, don't let that intimidate you too much. It's not that difficult. I'll try to force you into the spikes, although thankfully these ones aren't a one-hit kill. Yeah, he still goes down easy. Another one of the few instances the Hyper Bomb comes in handy. Okay, so that already takes care of the Genesis unit. Next time we'll head to the... the titular Wily's Cast... or, uh, Wily's Tower. See you next time, everyone. I'm playing a game.